Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to remove wind noise in Adobe Premiere Pro. So here I am editing a vlog with a bit of wind noise. All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. You can hear that kind of low rumble, that kind of... All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. So the first thing to make sure you do is use a shotgun mic or some kind of mic either mounted to the camera or above your talent uh, that has a wind sock on it. That's an absolute must. Without that, the wind is totally going to destroy your audio and the big crackles you get, like the big bursts of whoo, that goes against the microphone, it's very, very difficult to remove that stuff. But when you've got ambient stuff like this... All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. You can definitely hear that wind is ambiently blowing away. Pretty easy to remove it. First, I wanted to tell you about my Adobe Premiere Pro presets. Uh, they're audio presets specifically for any situation, any microphone, and they make your audio sound big, loud, and crisp. They're accessible in an easy presets bin uh, with different microphone types and some fun vocal effects as well. And you can grab them at mrc.fm forward slash presets. That's mrc.fm forward slash presets. But right now, I'm going to show you how to fix this wind noise, typing in high pass to the effects bar here, which is in the effects workspace. And I'm just going to drag and drop that onto this audio here. And you'll see default here. The high pass has been added is 1495 hertz. So anything below that frequency will be rolled off. All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. And while the wind is gone, it doesn't really sound that good, does it? So we need to take this number down. Good number to start with is 100 hertz. Uh, so anything below 100 hertz will definitely be rumble, wind rumble, road noise, things like that. None of the human voice is inside the 100 hertz or zero to 100 uh, frequency range. So now let's listen. All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. Already that wind reduced. Let's bypass it and play again bypass on play all right it's day two there's the wind okay bypass off i'm going to push up to uh let's go up to uh well let's go to 150 hertz let's have a listen to how that sounds all right it's day two of vlogtober very good what about 200 hertz let's have a listen all right it's day two of vlogtober and at 200 hertz the wind has completely gone the ambient background noise has disappeared although now we're starting to cut into my voice and just losing a few of those bass frequencies so i might go for a happy medium of say uh 170 hertz so anything below that will be uh completely blocked out all right it's day two of vlogtober and that's good compared to bypassing and starting with the default all right it's day two of vlogtober there is that audible wind kind of background noise for you. Another thing you can do uh, once you've added that high pass filter is go ahead, go and look for the dynamics effect, and then you'll just drag and drop it. Make sure you grab this one and not the obsolete one. Drag and drop it onto your clip in question. Click the edit. Make sure everything is on default settings. And I'd like you to enable the expander here. All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. You see, as I did, nothing happened. But as I start to push the ratio up now, maybe three to one. All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. That's a little bit too harsh. I'm going to move the threshold down a bit if it starts to clip my words. All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. And maybe move the ratio down a bit. All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. And every time you see that little red uh, level meter ticking in there, it's actually fading down your audio in between the words you're speaking. So just another way you can attack background noise such as wind noise. It works an absolute dream. All right, it's day two of Vlogtober. And with the expander enabled and some really cool high pass filter, you're easily going to eliminate most wind noise in most situations. Let me know how you get on with this. And if you have any questions, do feel free to post in the comments below. I do my best to read and respond to as many as I can.